Okay, in the last demo, where we left off was this ridiculous looking page. It doesn't look ridiculous this way, but as soon as we start to make it a lot narrower, it starts to look pretty silly and everything stacks too much. So this diagram for the desktop is clearly not going to work for everything. It's only going to work as we determined before. If you look here, um, I determined that it was going to work up to um, or above 960 pixels. So that means anything 961 and higher, it would take this layout. And then at that point, it would. what we want to do is we want to break it so that it ends up uh, having a break point and makes it look like this. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to basically keep this page from happening whenever we cascade it. And I'll show you an approach that we can take first. Let's go into our uh, document for our CSS. And what you want to find <clears throat> is the section where you are assigning the thirds class for an article. So you would basically look where it says article, any article inside of a section whose class is thirds. This part right here is the part that is only going to apply to a desktop configuration. And if you want to leave this part out, that's fine because this part will still continue to work for the thirds. It'll still continue to work in the other uh, views. And you can experiment with that if you want, but I'm just telling you right now, if you just wrap about lines 57 through 63 in a media query, then that's going to help us out. So I'm going to actually go to 56 and hit return. I'm going to paste something and then I'm going to explain it. So first of all, I'm writing I said I'm going to wrap this whole thing inside of a media query. Well, I'm going to tab it in, and you see here I've got an open curly brace, and I need to end it after the uh, the ending of this section dot thirds article rule. And what's happening is I'm saying when I say at media, I determine that it's screen media, not for print, but it's on screen. So at media screen and I'm adding a condition. And this is something that's unique to CSS3, where in parentheses then you can add the condition. It's basically sort of like saying uh, at the media screen where you know the minimum width is 961 pixels. And when you say min width, what that means is that anything lower than that will not take this rule. So if the viewport is open 960 pixels or lower, this rule will not apply. And so let's just see what happens real quickly. If I save this and I go back to my browser, let's pick this. Okay, so I'm going to hit refresh. And then you see what happens is that this is larger than 960. And then once I hit this 960 threshold, like right there, I lose that other style. But don't worry, we're going to fix this. But the point is that it's working. So you can see that we get this media query working up until 960 and then it switches. So let's figure out how to change that. Let's go back to our CSS file and let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this whole thing right here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to duplicate it down here and paste it. So the thing I want to switch though is I want to, first of all, I want to switch this condition that's right here. And I want to change it so that it's saying that it's a maximum width of 960 pixels. So anything that is minimum of 960 and higher is going to take this rule. Anything that is up to 960, so the maximum width is 960, will take this rule down here. And this is the stuff that we're going to change. And specifically, what we're going to be changing will be the uh, width and the margin. Okay, so one way that we can think about this is since it's really going to be cascading, let's look at this here, to halves, let's look up, I'm going to scroll up really quickly and we're going to look at the whole because it might be easier to go based off of the whole rather than going based off of the half. So something that you need to pay attention to, it's going to be really important, is that the margins on the left and on the right are going to have to match about two and a half or 2.66 right inside of the dimension. If it doesn't match that, 
then what's going to happen is that this left edge of the article for the whole and the thirds is not going to line well that will line up but the the right side won't line up it'll be too short or too long um, over here so what you want to be certain that you do is down here in our rule for um, the the max width of 960 is that you want to make sure that this is still about two and a half if I decided to say okay well 100 percent divided by 2 is 50. Well, I still need room for the gutters. So if you consider that you still need about 2 and a half, and let's look over here, we need 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, no longer are we using 6 because we don't have 3 columns. Now we have 2 columns. So now we need a right and a left for both of those columns. So that gives us 4 margins that we have to think about. So if we say that these are 2 and a half, well, 2 and a half times 4 4, okay, is going to be about 10, okay, right? So let's, if we do, the, do our math, let me just back this up. So if we're trying to keep consistent, we say, let's say 2.5, because remember we used 2.5 up here, okay? And it's easier to use this number than it is to use 2.66. That's really what it's all about. So if we're trying to keep our margins consistent, let's go back to the calculator, say 2.5, times 4, because we have four margins that we have to deal with, well that equals 10. So if you subtract 10 from 100, let's do minus 100, and yeah it's a negative figure but it's not really. So and we have an, uh, basically 90 pixels to work with, then each of our columns needs to be 45 percent. I shouldn't say 90 pixels to work with, we have 90 percent to work with. So each column then here needs to be 45 percent and this needs to be 2.5. Okay, so let's just change that. Let's save that and see what happens in our uh, <clears throat> in our layout. Let's hit refresh, and then now you see that in fact we have our two columns, and what it's doing is it's applying two and a half percent here, two and a half percent here, another two and a half percent here, and then two and a half percent here, and then when we scale it. It goes from three columns to two columns, and then it's not really doing anything to go to one column yet because remember what we did was we're saying basically anything up to 960 will take this rule. Well, we still need to use something in a media query to get this layout for phones, okay? So that's what comes next. So let's scroll up and let's actually look at what Hole is doing. And you see that this is what the hole is doing. It's saying that the width is 95 margin. So let's just try that. First of all, I'm going to duplicate this whole media query. So I'm going to hit copy and come down here and paste it. And then now I'm going to change my max width value to something new. I'm going to change it to 480. Because if you remember over here in my notes, you can see that I'm saying that this is going to be a maximum browser viewport of 480. Okay, so it's going to take anything 480 or lower. All right, so now if we change that to 480, now we also have to change all of this stuff. Remember, I said I was going to try to make it match whole. So let's go up to where it says whole and let's copy this. This is just sort of a good starting place to, to play around. It might not be perfect, but we're going to work with this. Let's do that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I should fix all of these so that they're, I don't know why they're not like that, but I'd like for them to all be consistent. I'm kind of fussy about that. Um, that's probably why. It's because these weren't uh, pulled in. Okay, so um, Anyway, let's go ahead and try this where we say max width of 480. Let's hit save. And we're going to go back to our web browser, hit refresh. And now you see what's happening is I go from three columns to two columns. And then once it hits 480 or smaller, it goes down to one column. And so this is what I've got. And <clears throat> not bad. So this is what we would see on a telephone okay, or on a smartphone. Now one thing that you'll notice is that look where this H2 starts and then look what, 
where this H2 starts. If we grab our little calculator as a as a guide tool, you'll see that it's quite a bit different in terms of where this vertical line is. And what's happening is if we look back in here, um, we have our media query right here that is giving us the 95% width and so forth. But then this is outside of the media query, so no matter what the size is, this is what's going to get applied to uh, all of these media queries where the margin is going to be 10% for the uh, H2 and the P tag that are inside of article with the section of class thirds. So this actually needs to do something a little different. It actually probably needs to get moved. I want to cut it. I'm going to put it before this media query. So I'll put it here because so far it was working just fine coming outside of these other two and applying to both this media query and this media query. And it wasn't until we moved to a single column that it was a problem. <clears throat> and so what that's going to mean is that as long as this gets read up here and then inside of this media query we can basically copy this and we can come in here and we can rewrite it to, to be some other kind of value. Here let's Let's clean this up a little bit so it's easier to see what's going on. All right, um, and instead of 10%, we can change that margin. So that's another little trick up uh, up our sleeves that we have. Okay, now if you want to figure out what percentage it is that you need to change this to, again, let's go up to the top and let's look at some other information in here. We need to look at what the H2 was for this article section, uh, or excuse me, I should say, for the whole uh, article H2, and that was set originally at 3%. So what we need to do is we may need to make the thirds article down here match it inside this final media query for anything less than 480 pixels wide. Okay, so if we hit save, and let's go ahead and look at our page and refresh. And you see now everything lines up. Okay, and it's really up to you uh, if you want to make it so that the margin was inset more or if it's like this. If you kind of like this margin, then you can just stick with this and that's fine. If you would prefer to have more of a margin here so that it feels like there's more space, more padding around it, then you could uh, you could change that up a little bit, and instead of making this three percent, you could actually uh, make the. Let's see, let me go back to ten percent. Let's let's save that, and I'll show you what it was again, real quick. Okay, so this if you like the way that this looks, where there's more space around it, all right, then what you could do is make this match all of these articles and that's totally acceptable so if you were to do that you would just need to change this from thirds to whole where you're inside of the query for 480 and less okay so max width of 480 so let's hit save and let's go back <clears throat> hit refresh and now you see the whole article actually matches all of these other uh, article h2s and paragraph tags, okay? So now you can see how this goes from being a desktop view of three columns, and then we still have this if we wanna have something that's sort of highlighted that fills the whole block. And then as we get to a smaller viewport, then it goes down to two columns, all right? And then once we get smaller than that, it goes down to a single column. and if you wanted to see what this would look like on uh, uh, an emulator, like if you don't have a smartphone or you don't have a tablet and you want to make sure that it really and truly is sort of cascading properly, um, then you can use what's called an emulator. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how to use emulators. I'm also going to show you how to make it so that you can use some CSS to make the easing effect in between these changes and a few other things. Okay, we're going to end this here, so go to the next demo.